Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Vikrant and today we are going to talk about campus internships. So there are few things that you need to take care of before even applying for the internships. The first thing is you have to build a good resume. You have to include all the main points about yourself, about the technologies that you have worked upon that you know and all the projects that you have created. Make sure to include all of them. The second point is you have to get your resume shortlisted before even getting a chance for a test or an interview. Your chance of getting shortlisted gets increased exponentially when you have a referral. So if you can ask for a referral from an employee in that particular company, it will be great for you. Now, after you have done this thing, there are a lot of ways through which you can apply directly for internships. The first one is LinkedIn. You can go on LinkedIn and directly message a recruiter about the vacancies of internships. You can directly message them. Otherwise, you can also check out the vacancies in the LinkedIn platform only. You can directly uh, apply from there. The next point is career portals. No matter a company is big or small, they always have a career po portal through which you can directly apply. They always post the vacancies in their career portals. So you can directly apply from there. The third point is intern shala. It's a dedicated platform to get the interns. You will find a lot of companies for a particular role, for a particular time period through which you can apply. Whichever is suitable for you, just apply for that company. Just take care of few things. Apply to as many companies as you can because sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it takes a whole lot of luck as well. The next point is don't lose hope. Sometimes it takes time, okay? Don't worry. The last point is go for the paid internships first. If you are not getting a chance for the paid internship, then you can go for the unpaid internship. Just make sure that you are going to learn something valuable there. Otherwise, don't do it. I hope this helps. Thank you.